Hi everyone, I'm VFM Gamer. Thank you for watching my first ever YouTube video. Now for this series, I'm going to be taking you back to the mid '90s, or 1994 to be precise. Now later on in that year, a true titan of gaming in the Sony PlayStation was going to be released. However, in the meantime, those of us football fans that were plugging away on a Commodore Amiga were about to experience the birth of the legend, and that legend was the goat. That is, sensible world of soccer. Now, not only do I have happy memories of playing the game for hours on end and taking my IFK Gothenburg team all the way to the European Cup Finals and winning it, but it also sticks in my mind for the reason that it was the first time I'd ever heard lyrics on a theme song to a video game. scoring superstar hero lyrics became iconic and you only have to utter them to any football fan who is a veteran gamer and they know exactly which game you're talking about so we're going to take you back to the mid 90s now with in this series we're going to do a career mode on sensible world of soccer all we need to do is get ready for a bit of football gaming there we go now hang on a minute i meant a bit of football gaming in the mid 90s should we try that again please that's better bit of an oversized football shirt and a master system controller it was a mega drive controller that i used to play with but that's close enough let's get into some gameplay okay so here we are a very familiar uh, main menu this is a single player menu because the game that we're playing is actually the xbox 360 version of sensible world of soccer which is the 96 97 season um, of course the xbox version had multiplayer so there's a multiplayer menu as well um, Basically, the game looks pretty much exactly the same. A few nice little touches that they've put in there. Uh, the one downside to the Xbox version is that they don't have the rights to the player names or some of the teams as well. So the player names are going to be misspelled. Um, it'll be something that sounds similar, but some of them, um, I mean, if, you, if your memory is absolutely bang on, you can remember them. But some of them, you know, every now and then you look at a player and go, who was that again? Um, but it comes to you eventually. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go straight into career mode. This is where we pop our manager's name in, which is obviously me. So uh, let's just delete that one. And we're going to go straight. There we go. Into Ian. And surname. Get rid of Chapman. And Jones. There we go. So once we've got all that set up. English. Yep. Yeah, player coach. Choose team. Now, on the channel, what we did was... Um, on the socials we put out um, suggestions asking people who they wanted us to be in the uh, career mode and the majority of the answers that came up were the Italian League. Uh, back in the early 90s, the mid 90s, the Italian League was probably the best league in the world. Uh, I used to watch it on a Sunday and it was absolutely fantastic to watch. Um, and the main answer that came back was Palmer, who had an absolutely brilliant side back then. So that's who we're going to be. We're going to be Palmer. We should get a nice little welcome message off our chairman. Now, dear Mr. Jones, welcome to our club. We look forward to much success from our new partnership best regards your chairman so as you can see just like it used to be you've got your name in the top left hand corner you've got Palmer in the middle and the 96 97 season up there we've got our fixture list the first game of the season that we're going to be playing is going to be the second round of the Coppa Italia uh, Palmer versus Reggiana uh, we've then got our first league game of the season against Lazio and our second game of the season against Bologna now what I do want to say is that for each of these videos, we're going to be playing three matches. So the first match of our second video will be the second leg of the round two against Reggiana. Um, so what we're going to do is have a little look at our team. As you can see here, all the player names are misspelt. Um, some of them give you a better indication of who they are than others. But, you know, if you can remember the side, you've got Luca Bucci in goal. Uh, Zimmeria was the right back back then for Palmer. Uh, Churam, Lillian Churam was uh, centre back. You've also got Sensini, I believe it was. Um, at, I'll just have a little look at a database here. It was Roberto Sensini was the centre back. Left back was Musi. Uh, right back was Kripa. Our defensive midfielder was uh, Dino Baggio. 
and then you had Daniel Bravo playing in midfield along uh, just in front of him and then on the left side our left-sided winger was Pietro Strada and our strikers obviously were Gianfranco Zola and Enrico Chiesa uh, worth a few quid those two on this game the subs bench is extremely strong especially with hindsight if these players back then were as good as they went on to become the uh, substitute goalkeeper was Gianluigi Buffon we've also got Benarivo the left back uh, Paolo Cannavaro the centre back We've also got Brambilla on the bench, or Brambilla, and the substitute striker was Alessandro Melli. Uh, Alessandro Melli was one of the players that made me start supporting Parma in the 90s, because I used to play football manager, or oh, he wasn't football manager back then, it was championship manager Italia, around about 1992, and he used to bang the goals in for fun. So uh, we will make a, make a bit of use of him throughout the season, I think. Um, maybe in some of the cup matches and stuff like that so if we come out of there you can then notice we've got transfers on the left hand side club business underneath that which i believe gives you your yeah your finances then to the right you've got the next match which would skip the match that we are about to play it would go past that we've got view competitions where you can look at all the leagues and everything like that and then you can look at the rest of the world the database on this game was absolutely massive it was brilliant so what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look we've got a bank balance of 4.3 million pounds which we're not going to spend yet ideally what i'd like to do on this um series is allow you the viewers to help me pick the players we're going to buy um if you can leave in the comments any suggestions of any players you think we should bring in in the positions where we're weakest and then if we get several players being uh, several names being mentioned if one name stands out that more people are mentioning than others then i'll try and buy that player uh, live on one of the videos and then we'll try and do it that so you guys have a say in exactly how i play this this career mode um we're not going to make any signings on this specific video we're going to go straight into the gameplay and our first leg of the cup against reggiana i'm going to keep the side exactly how it's set up with a 4-4-2 like i said baggio is playing just behind bravo and um yeah we're going to get straight into it i don't really believe that reggiana had any players that would cause us any problems so hopefully um if we can get straight back into it playing it like we used to um we should get the win but then i'll tell you one thing this game the speed of it feels like it's been ramped up by 10 um when you're used to playing fifas or pro evolution soccer um this game the way the ball just flies around honestly it just feels like it's on fast forward no wonder there's no commentators on it because they wouldn't have had two seconds to um to breathe oh and this is going to be a card straight away for zola and he's yellow carded in the fifth minute of the game. Um, just get in your timing back. That's all it is. Get in your timing back. Oh, and we're going to give away a corner there. Let's see if we can defend this. Oh, he's played it out anyway, so Baggio's going to put that out. And then Zola to uh, Chiesa to Zola. And a good save by the keeper. Come on, Palmer. Chiesa again. Oh, he's so close. On oh, a good save by Bucci. And another save. Ooh, we mistimed that. And again. Just getting the timing right. Oh, it's a good shot from Chiesa, but it's saved by the keeper. Well done. Zola the ball over oh and a good save again this keeper's on fire Churam clears it a nice long ball Chiesa can he get on it oh another save 35 minutes in and he's still nil nil the keeper's made some stunning saves the Reggiana keeper to keep it deadlocked at nil nil and that's it the bar <laughs> oh wow We don't want to make any dodgy ta tackles with Zola. I forgot he got booked in the fifth minute. Oh, and another good save. The keepers are solid. Oh, we've missed that. Half time. Wow. No goals. Obviously, this is a two-legged affair, so we would like to get a nice lead. We don't want them scoring any away goals. We'd like to get a nice lead to take into the uh, the second leg at the start of our next video. Uh, but in the meantime, anyway, it's nil-nil. We've had, I would say, just about the lion's share of the play. And the best chance is... And we've put it wide just then. So close. So, so close. And the keeper.
keeper's just kicked it straight out. Oh my goodness, my defending is shocking. Bucci bails me out once again. Come on now. Okay, here we go. It's got to be Zola or Chiesa. It's a goal! It's a goal! Gianfranco Zola scores our first goal of the series. It's a nice, tidy finish, and the keeper couldn't do anything about that one. It's a typical Sensi goal in the far right-hand side. Curled in. Beautiful. That feels nice. That feels nice. It feels just as good as it did all those years ago. Oh, and here we go. The floodgates are going to open. Are they? No, they're not. Ooh. That's a good tackle. That's a good tackle, too. We're going to just... Yeah, we're just about putting a stop to them getting up the pitch there. Oh, we do not want to let them get in shooting distance. Keza. Oh, another good save. This keeper is having an absolute blinder. But he's giving it away. Oh, it's so quick. It's so quick. Oh, wow. Bucci. You're an absolute legend. Playing with the Xbox controller just feels a little bit weird, but you get used to it. You do get used to it. Keizer again. Oh, and Zola touches it into the keeper. That might have gone in. At the moment, it looks like we're going to see this out for a win. Zola. Oh, we tried to almost take it around the keeper that time. Yeah, I think we're going to see this out for a 1-0 win in our first game. I'm happy with that. It's been years since we played it properly. Um, and I mean years. We're going back to... So this this one in particular was the last Sensible World of Soccer that was released of that group. They came up for three years. Then it disappeared for a long time until the, um, the Xbox 360 version was brought out. Um, and there is now available, I believe, a... 2020 version with the modern day players in uh, which you can get let's just have a little look uh, Milan have drawn nil nil against Sassenza Napoli 3-1 up there okay we're going to go to our first league game of the season against Lazio again another team that had a good side back then um, we're going to go straight to it why not the great thing about these games on um, Sensible World of Soccer was that they were only three minutes long so you can get through two or three games just like that it's absolutely brilliant so we're going to keep it as it is. I was happy with that, and I'm getting used to it, so let's crack on. Parma versus Lazio Italian Serie A, or Serie A. And there you go. Signori up front. Nedved. Some great players in this Lazio side. This could be a tough game. This could be a really tough game. Not quite a kick clash, but they're similar. The white and the light sort of blue of Lazio. Which almost looks grey. Okay, he's a ah, good save. Come on, that's Marcia Gianni in goal. Let's put that ball through. Okay, he's a, controls it beautifully. Zola! Oh, wow. We've missed time that. And another good save by Bucci. Worth his weight in gold at the minute. And it's a goal! Chiesa makes it 1-0 to Parma. We could build up some good form here, guys. If we beat Lazio, I'll be extremely pleased with that. Extremely pleased with it. Right. I'll tell you what, Chiesa is absolutely mustard. It's hard to get the ball of him. And that's another good save. Played out by Turam. Oh, and it's missed. And the keeper saves the ball again. Get Kiesa involved. Oh, and saved on the line by the defender. Great piece of defending. Wow. Zola puts it over the bar. I tell you what, all the feelings that you got when you were a teenager playing this game, they come back. It's just the adrenaline of playing a match because it's so fast, so fast paced. It's great. Absolutely great. Right. Played out to the wing there, but it's going to be a throw into Palmer. 
I wonder if I'm going to get a chance to use my old corner technique, the crossing, the diving header at the front post. I'm sure everybody used it, but I definitely had it nailed down. Oh, and we've put it wide. Zola again. The keeper's played a dodgy one, and we're going to get a chance to test out our corner. Here we go, diving header at the front post. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, I haven't got the timing down yet. It was just mistimed. And the keeper again, it's kept us in it. He's kept it 1-0. Oh, it's bad defending by me. And I think we're going to get to half-time 1-0 up. Wow. My defender's not quite there, you know. It's not quite there. But um, we're still winning. We're still winning 1-0. Let's try and add another goal in this second half. Just keep that clean sheet, Butchie. You're on it, man. He's on it. I'll tell you what. EA Sports and Konami could really learn something from this because um, there's no need for skill moves. There's no need for, play, you know, scripting or player ID or whatever they call it, all that sort of stuff. It's just football and it's fun. And it's great. Oh, and we've nearly scored again. We're going to get a ch another chance at the corner. Oh, that one's gone past. And we're going to get a book in, are we? No. No, I haven't got the timing down for these corners yet. You've got to get that l sort of medium crossover and then just dive in at the front post on the diagonal. The amount of goals I used to put in there with Duncan Ferguson on this game. Here we go. Oh, another in uh, injury. Was that... Oh, great save. Here we go for the corner again. Can we do it? Oh, this time it is going to be a booking for this fella. And another injury. We're bringing him down all over the place. <laughs> wow. They're going to have to field all their reserves in the next match. They're going to have about seven players out from my badly timed tackles. It's a poor, poor pass. Baggio's a top player on this. And we've scored. The keeper made a save, but the ball came out. And Chiesa scores his second of the match. Now, I'm pretty sure it was this version of the game that added in the ability to do like a standing... Oh, a third goal. We're running away with it now. Third goal, Zola. I'm pretty sure it was this version of the game that added in the ability to do a standing header. So just jump, in, jump straight up and just head the ball. Whereas before, it was diving headers in the first sensible soccer. So I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure Swaz was the first one to introduce that standing header. If you are enjoying the video, by the way, please drop a comment in there. Just let me know um, all the feelings that it's bringing back, all the memories. Let me know which... T oh, we're flying. We're flying. We've got it now. Let me know which teams you used to play as. I had a career mode going with IFK Gothenburg, and I took them to the Champions... Uh, it wasn't the Champions League, was it? Took them to the Euro uh, European Cup final. Won that. Uh, Thomas Ravelli was my goalkeeper. I had a crack inside. Um, and that was the team that I went pretty much all through this game with. Um, didn't really change it up. I did a couple of careers with Everton, obviously being a big Everton supporter. But um, that was nice to sort of manage a side in a league that I don't really know much about. Although it did kind of turn into a one-team league. So 88th minute, and we've absolutely, pile, uh, like absolutely poleaxed Palmer in the second uh, Lazio in the second half. Oh, they've pulled one back though. The clean sheet doesn't happen. But I'll take a 4-1 against Lazio. Might be a 4-2 if I keep giving the ball away like that. That'll do. A second win. Second game of the video. Second win. We're now going to be playing our third and final match of this video. Um, which was against... Let's have a little look. Uh, if we come out there, we're top of the league after that win, after one match. Uh, and our next match was against Bologna. Now, um, we'll just see. Our 
bank balance has dropped a little bit. I think we started off on about th four million. It's dropped down. We're not looking to sign anybody though, and we're not looking to sell anybody just yet. We'll, like I said, wait for some comments and stuff like that. We'll go into our third and final game. And um, don't forget, once again, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe bell. It's our first ever YouTube video. Our, talking a lot, there's two of me here. It's my first ever YouTube video. Uh, and I'm going to bring in some reserves. I'm going to play Cannavaro instead of Sensini. And I am also going to put... I'm going to give Melly a game up front alongside Chiesa. I'm going to give... Z oh, no, I'm not. There's a few injuries there. I didn't even realise we had. So I'm going to put Melly... Uh, I'm going to put Zola back on. I'm going to put Melly on for Chiesa, who's taking a knock. And Brava for Rambia. I will leave those guys on the bench. I don't think there's a need to, to worry too much about that. And we'll also play Benarivo. At left back. It's given us an X there saying that he's not as good as the player you've put him in for. But I think he's alright. Let's get on with it. Third and final game, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Um, I hope it's given you an incentive to get on and download the game. Um, and play it a little bit. Just um, relive those younger years. It's certainly working for me. It's been absolutely brilliant. I'm really looking forward to filming the rest of this uh, this season, this series. Um, and hopefully getting some silverware. Now. <sighs> it's just all about the timing at the minute. Just get that right and you're fine. And there's a booking. Booking for the Bologna left back, I think. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, he's kept it in. Oh, he's been tackled. Just inside the box. It was a clean tackle. Oh, what a goal that is. That is a beauty. That's a much longer distance. We're going to have a look at that again. Curls it in from distance. Ah, that's fantastic. Love it. Love to see it. Melly scores his first goal of the season. He was a goal scoring machine. Oh, nearly 2 0 up early doors. Oh, keeper's kept us uh, in the lead there. Oh, just over the bar by Zola. One thing I do remember is that injuries do happen fairly often, so it is good, if you can afford it, to have a deep squad on this game because the injuries did come thick and fast. And, and to be honest, the player could be out for a good four matches, four or five matches before you can actually get him back to full fitness. Are we going to get a booking for that one? No, we're not. 26 minutes in, still 1-0 to Palmer. Great melee goal, and he's going to have another go, and he's hit the bar. Oh, nearly an equaliser there. Bucci. He's hit the bar again. We're just getting a little bit too close to, to play that shot. That sort of mid high ball. We just don't want a low one like that. That's it. Good save by the keeper. Oh, and another yellow card. Oh, we've had an injury. It's our left backs. It's it's um it's Benarivo, wasn't it? We could sub him off if he's moving a little bit too gingerly. Half time. Now, can anybody remember how to make a sub? Because <laughs> I can't. I think you double tap to left, wasn't it? Double tap left, and it brought up the subs bench. Double tap up, double tap. Oh, I can't remember what it was. Do you just hold it down? That's going to have to be something we looked <laughs> to for our second video. Maybe you can only do it now when the ball goes out of play. Oh, and it's an equaliser. That's me trying to bring on the sub. For the life of me, can't remember how you do it. 
you can hear me tapping away at the buttons, but I just can't remember. Oh, that's how you that's how you do a, um, a replay. Let's get back in this in the lead. We've hit the bar twice. Oh no! Oh, what a slide tackle by Leon Churam. Oh, and a good save by the keeper. We need this goal in this second half. We don't want to be lo uh, not losing. We don't want to be dropping points. Oh, they're playing a bit of good football. They're playing some lovely stuff. Oh, and he scored. Oh, wow. They just started turning it on then. Just started turning it on. And it led to that goal, which was well taken. We've got to score two. We haven't got long to do it either. Ah, there's the equaliser. Melly makes it 2-2. I tell you, this game is absolutely perfect for getting the lads around. Because the game's... Um, lads or lasses to be honest because the games are so short doing a competition on this with your mates wouldn't take very long at all and it'd be a right laugh just like it was back in the day 73 minutes 74 minutes on the clock now we've got to deal with this corner and we have we're out on the counter attack now the counter attack's working well oh good save Oh, we've mistimed it. Have we got away with it? No, we haven't. Yes, we have. 83rd minute. Come on, boys. Melly. Oh, I just couldn't get... Oh, <laughs> I think it's got to end a draw. We've dropped points. Oh, wow. We have dropped points, I think. Yes, 2-2. Two, two. It's not all going to go our way, as it appears on this uh, on this video. We've dropped points against Bologna. Uh, so, 2-2. Two, two. Guys, that brings us to the end of this first gameplay video of Sensible World of Soccer. We've played three matches. Uh, we've got four points on the board, and we're uh, a goal up. Or was it... Yeah, it was a goal up going into the next um, match in the Italian Cup as well. Uh, so, we've got a memo from our chairman. Please note... Ian, that N. Ear has joined the club on trial. That's somebody that we can use maybe a little bit later on in the season. In the meantime, thanks guys. Don't forget once again to hit that subscribe button. Also, you can catch me live on Twitch. I'll be streaming throughout the week. Normal times for streams are Tuesday night, Thursday night, and then either Saturday or Sunday evening. Sometimes, if we get lucky, it'll be both. But I hope to see you on Twitch, and if not, ready for the next video on this. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers.